5 on daybreak taking a live look now at the 190 south just before the Niagara Street exit. The road is clear traffic moving smoothly there right now, but that wasn't the case less than 24 hours ago. It was blocked off for several hours yesterday afternoon after a gunman shot three sewer authority workers in a truck leaving one of them dead and two others in the hospital. And Daybreak's Heather Lee has the latest on the investigation in that shooting and the search for the suspect this morning. Heather? Hi there, Melissa and Lauren. Good morning. The investigation continues this morning. State police say that they're still looking for a suspect and also looking for a late model dark colored Jeep Cherokee that may have been involved in this shooting. They say based on what they know so far, they do not believe that this is a uh, there is an ongoing threat to the public. They believe that this is an isolated incident, although at this time they have not said anything about a motive. Now we do not know the names of those Buffalo Sewer Authority employees, uh, the employee who was killed or the two that were hurt. One man we know has life threatening, non life threatening injuries, while another has serious injuries. Uh, the three had just finished a job, according to Buffalo Mayor Byron Brown. They were actually headed back to the Sewer Authority when that shooting happened on the 190, not far from the Peace Bridge, just after 11 o'clock yesterday morning. The union representing the workers said their members are in a state of shock this morning, heartbroken over this horrific act of violence. Who could have even imagined? that something like this would happen to three sewer authority employees as they are at work doing the right thing, doing the people's business. This has to stop. Now again, state police said that they were looking for a late model dark color Jeep and we were at this scene yesterday as the city as long as, as well as a Buffalo police officer impounded this red Jeep possibly tied to this case Two on your side also talked with neighbors who provided us with these images from a ring doorbell camera showing a red Jeep Grand Cherokee arriving in their neighborhood not long after the shooting. Now again, state police are asking anyone with information this morning to give them a call, especially if you have dash cam video if you have any information or other video that could help them in their investigation. You can contact state police in Batavia 585-344-6200. We have that information on our website WGRZ.com. Also this morning some people might be wondering about those night tech cameras throughout the uh, morning and early afternoon yesterday. Melissa and Lauren, we were looking at those live pictures from the scene. However, we are told that those night tech cameras do not record anything, so there is no recorded video from the night tech cameras of yesterday's shooting. All right, and police will continue their investigation and we'll stay on top of it as well. Heather Lee reporting live for us. Thank you for that report this morning.